Greetings, fellow traders. I'm Dylan, a research strategist at Pepperstone, here to provide you with the latest weekly update on SQDESCO. Gold underwent a significant reversal in the past week, with a dynamic interplay between sellers and buyers, driven by data flow, currently favoring the latter. The reversal trend is observable across all precious metals, with Monday marking a pivotal turning point. Gold, known for its resilience, has seen its price against the US dollar rise by 1.6% from the local low in the downtrend. Notably, platinum against the US dollar has shown a more pronounced recovery, climbing 5.8% from last Friday's bottom. Examining the daily chart of gold against US dollar, we observed a breach of 1952 last Wednesday, which was the local high in September. After a day of consolidation around the support zone, buyers didn't linger and bears returned, pushing the price down to 1933, the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level of the October rally. Since then, gold has sold, uh, reclaiming 1952 and currently trading at around 1963. If the uptrend persists, the psychological important level of 2000 remains a key monitor, considering the compromise effectiveness of 1981 due to a series of breakthroughs. The recent rally's high of 2009 serves as a second resistance. On the downside, 1933 acts as robust support, but the 200-day moving average might be the initial touch point. The initial part of this story revolves around diminishing concerns over geopolitical conflicts, resulting in reduced hedging needs and the preference for riskier assets with positive returns. The trend reversal is notably influenced by U.S. data. Firstly, the anticipation that the Fed has concluded the rate hiking cycle diminishes the attractiveness of the U.S. dollar as treasuries reprise to lower rates. This, in turn, lowers the opportunity cost of holding gold, initiating a price recovery. The cooler-than-expected October U.S. CPI reinforces the consensus that the tightening cycle is ending, leading to a significant drop of over 20 basis points in two two-year and 10-year yields, prompting a nearly $17 surge in gold prices. Secondly, the current U.S. real rate is 2.39%, around 47 basis points lower than the peak level three weeks ago. And OIS suggests two cuts by July 2024, contributing to the positive momentum in gold prices. Well, despite the signals that the hiking cycle has concluded, the bullish run of U.S. equities poses a threat to gold. Nasdaq and S&P 500 closed up by 1.9% and 2.2% yesterday, while US 2000 and KRE ETF even rallied harder to the September high. Gold as a zero-interest asset appeared to be less competitive. In summary, a notable reversal is observed in the gold market, led by bullish trend, with fading concerns over the Middle East conflict and a potential US government shutdown, coupled with the aftermath of a cooler US CPI, or in other words, a well-controlled inflation. Gold is becoming attractive again. While the impressive equity performance presents short-term risks. If the bullish trend persists until year-end, investors may reduce their US dollar positions with diminished hedging needs, making a weak US dollar a positive factor for a gold's upward trajectory. So that's all for this week. Stay tuned with Pepperstone for more insight and updates. And until then, happy trading!